ओके फाइन सो आई आई सजेस्ट पीपल टू गो थ्रू दिस टूटोरियल कम्प्लीटली बिकॉज इफ यू स्किप एनी पार्ट ऑफ द टूटोरियल राइट सो इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू बिकॉज वी आर क्रिएटिंग द अकाउंट एंड थ्रू द अकाउंट क्रिएशन ओनली वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग द वेज ऑफ लॉग इन in this vlog we'll try to deal with the new way to authenticate your users into your flutter application so by now you might be very much familiar with this particular tool because this is displayed on the screen right so yes this is the new tool which we are going to discuss in this part of the tutorial and also try to get through this particular tool on our flutter application so let's try to deal with this particular tool called clerk and even i got few requests on the previous tutorials that we need to in get started with the flutter clerk and also just a couple of days before we got the sdk also for this particular clerk tool so now we can easily integrate our flutter apps with this particular tool and authenticate our users much more easier so previously they were using apis but now sdk will take care of all those stuff for us okay now let's try to create an account and before going further let's try to go through the pricing plans so this is what matter for us and here we do have a free plan and a pro plan here and based on your requirement right you can choose any one of it but for this tutorial purpose and to explore this particular tool we are going with the free plan now and also let's dive into the features no credit card required yes that would make lot of people uh, try this particular tool that would uh, that would easily make even beginners to try this particular tool and 10000 monthly active users okay this is a very good count no charge for users who sign up but never return okay fine this is also a valid point pre built components custom domain okay now a user is counted as active when they return to your app 24 hours after sign up okay so even though 20000 users sign up for you and only 5000 users came back then the total count will be 5000 only so this is what it says and if you like this particular tool and if you want to proceed further you can just upgrade to the pro plan but for now let's try to deal with the tool explore this tool and next chase quick start app router use this pre built prompt to get started faster okay but we want to test this on our flutter application so let's try to okay they have provided a complete documentation part i think but uh, we want to integrate it in our flutter application so i am trying to create an account here and also we do have two options to sign up one is github and other is google so make sure whatever uh, which is flexible for you so here we go i am giving my google account access here and this is preparing our account for the first time and let's build your sign in application name so here we can provide the application name and what i will provide is flutter login or uh, this is a very general generic name i am providing uh, you can just rename it accordingly and sign in options so for testing purpose i am going to add phone number username facebook apple github microsoft upgrade to pro after creating your application to enable more than 3 providers okay so we are good with these three providers and the slack oh there are lot of options here 
so i think this is a very good way to get started and even instead of april i can choose github because most of you might be having the github accounts okay and even we are starting with the github itself so now create application so what will your users see install the sdk run your development server and sign yourself up the moment we detect the first account installation is completed okay okay fine so i, I suggest people uh, to go through this tutorial completely because if you skip any part of the tutorial right so it will be very difficult for you because we are creating the account and through the account creation only we are providing the ways of login so all these things we are covering here create user organization subscription here and configure i am looking out for the api so that uh, we can okay we have gone to the api keys here and uh, publishable key secret key okay i'm trying to copy the public key and we need to look forward for the integration steps now so we do have an option like integration native application over so we'll try to move with the native application and here we have got the two options like ios and android so let's get started with android first and here android application we need to have a namespace package name and a sha256 okay and let's move to the android studio so that we get these details and in the android directory here move to the build.gradle.kts and here we have our namespace which is again the same like application id which is the package it requires here so let us copy those two things and now we also require sha256 and now let us run through this command we have got the sha256 and i am going to specify it here and now we have added our application and in the similar way i suggest you if you are having a app store account for ios uh, you can add the prefix id here team id and i don't have app store account sign into the developer account it is asking and membership details but unfortunately i don't have app store account and we'll see how we'll deal with this so if the app store account is mandatory i think we can only deal with the android application and yeah the people who are having app store account just comment me below like are you able to uh, get started with this and also just follow the tutorial and try to utilize uh, the same tutorial the code will be same right try to use it and try to test your ios applications as well and just let me know in the comment section below so in the next tutorial we'll try to add the dependency to our android studio and also get started with the coding path so this is it for this particular tutorial and i hope you have got a good knowledge on how to get started with you are clear with this particular tutorial like how to get started with the clerk and how you get your key and also how you add your applications to the clerk console so we'll meet in the next tutorial and try to discuss the coding part over there so if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter